Let's get you an update on this now. Three more bodies have been recovered at Sibanya Gold Mine following an earthquake on Thursday evening. The death toll now stands at seven. I'm joined on the line by Sibanya Gold spokesperson James Wellstead. A very good morning to you, James, and thank you for joining us. Have uh, the bodies been identified and the families notified? Yes, I mean, all of the families were notified uh, on Thursday and Friday already, uh, so they've all been notified, uh, and the family of the last employee who we've just released um, is at the shaft currently. Mm. The Mineral Resources Minister has described this as a disaster, and you're facing a lot of pressure from unions who are calling for greater safety measures. Could the mine have done anything differently in this situation, according to you? Well, I think that will be subject to the investigation that we will now carry out with the DMR, and then a finding will be made following that investigation. Um, but, you know, norm our, our safety support and other standards are designed to withstand uh, seismic events of, these na of this nature. So we'll need to see why in this instance uh, they, they didn't. So or whether there was an error on uh, our side or it was just, uh, you know, due to some other uh, um, uh, influence. Are you able to share with us um, what the investigation will be looking at specifically? Well, I think they'll, I can't give you the specifics. I mean, it will be a very thorough investigation of exactly what happened, uh, what could have been done differently, where potential failings uh, uh, exist, etc. But it will be quite a thorough investigation done jointly with DMR. One can't imagine what the families are going through. Um, if you could perhaps maybe share details of how Sibanye will be supporting the families. Well, I think that will, that's privy, well, that will continue. Uh, we're already providing counselling. We've transported all of the um, families from areas like Mozambique, Eastern Cape, Lesotho, etc., and we'll be providing ongoing support. But those discussions uh, and, and support will continue after this as well with the families. So we'll, we'll discuss ways in which we can assist them and their children going forward. To your knowledge, are rescue operations done and dusted? Uh, were these the last of the bodies that were trapped underground? Yeah, these were definitely the last bodies. Uh, so we'll be, as soon as we've got all of, all of the employees to surface, um, I think we'll, we'll be progressing with the next stages. James Wellstead speaks for Sibanya Gold. Thank you very much for your time and that Thank update you. this morning.